Okay, we're back in our EU4 uh, Brandenburg to Germany playthrough. Uh, we're currently focusing on conquering some territories we might need later to conquer Germany, or to create Germany, I mean. Um, we do have the territories we need to form Prussia. We're just waiting for a religion change. Um, so that might take a little bit. Uh, last I checked, it was over 60%. We're up to 66 on Reform Desire. So hopefully that'll fire sooner rather than later, and hopefully we end up with maybe a core Protestantism up here. Um, or Reformed. I'd rather go Protestant than Reformed. Um, just not as many countries go Reformed. So we'll see how that goes. Brunswick looks like it actually expanded a bit. Or maybe not. They did have those three. Now we're allied with Clone. And they're an elector. Saxony's not going to vote for us. It looks like everybody wants to vote for Bohemia. Um... Oh, I don't like that. Everybody wants to vote for Bohemia. Oh, nice. We're making money now at full maintenance, and we do have we have another force limit. Oh, slot. Oh, two more. So, and once these are cored, we'll, we should be even better. We'll get some more manpower from them. I don't think I'm gonna raise autonomy yet. Actually, we will raise in Rostock. They're pretty pissed, <laughs> say the least. So I'll raise that. Um, key question is, how's Anhalt feeling about us? Oh, they're at war. They're at war with Cologne, Hesse, and Trier. What is this war about? Oh. Attacker against Munster and the Colonian Conquest of Munster. So it looks like Munster might get taken out pretty quick. We'll see. Now this puts us in a tough spot if either of us call or if either of them call us in now. If I don't think they can though, because neither well, Cologne is a primary, but on the whole it's not going to be the primary. We can also improve relations with Saxony and get those back up. They probably dropped a bit. Yeah, we can do 12 more. That won't be quite enough, but once the year turns over it should be enough. Oh no, maybe it will be enough to get them to vote for us. Oh, uh, this is starting to break up a little bit. Not everybody wants to vote for Bohemia anymore. Clone's going to be a target for that. Mines as well. Let's see if we can get either of them to vote for us. If we can get Saxony to love us enough, we can also vassalize one of the electors and use that to get votes. Oh, we do have a lot of improved relations with them. Hate the unlawful territory mechanics sometimes. It was nice once you're emperor and you can demand stuff back and just take it. <clears throat> it's nice that Austria is an emperor. Up, oh, and we're going to take military drill. Um, rather have this in the military tech up for now. Um, I know we get cannons with the next tech up, but I actually like the idea of having. We actually tech up across the board. We're actually going to do that. And I am going to take diplomatic ideas. Because we're definitely going to need it if we're going to expand aggressively. And we're actually going to take an extra diplomat. Now I know we could have teched up the uh, military there and also naval ambitions. Uh, but again, I'm not concentrating on the navy so much. Uh, it's definitely not concentrating colonial range. Now, I know we'll have to attack up eventually, but I don't want to spend a lot of monarch points for that. And military, again, I'd rather have the morale right now than getting the artillery right away. Um, that, and I don't think anybody's ahead of us. Oh, no, Bohemia is ahead of us. Poland probably is. Oh, Poland is not. So, that might be a little rough. Now we have extra diplomat. We'll actually maintain that one with Saxony. Working on on haul as well.
will actually improve relations with clone. Might even be able to do. I've been checking dynastic actions. Oh, they're still an archbishop prick. Okay. Onhold is too. Oh no, Onhold's a dookie. We we are married to them though. Same with Saxony. So it might be smart to look for another elector who can take a royal marriage because it's you know easier to get the relations up. Mines is actually again close. Bohemia is getting four votes, so the best thing I could do is take out one of the people voting for Bohemia. So it'd either be Cologne or Trier. Palatinate just hates us too much. Um. Well, no. Oh, well, that looks like it's relations. So let me improve with the Palatinate. I'll improve with all of them and see who we get. We might be able to get a couple to come over to our side. Who are they allied with? Ansbach, Bohemia, Lorraine. This might actually work. If Bohemia declares war on us. Now, if we declare war on Bohemia, it could backfire, but... We'll see how this goes. We could also maybe bring them into a war that Bohemia would be on the other side and break them up. Now, the Palatinate's not too strong yet, but sometimes they will get strong. And we got our cores. So no more unlawful territory. How are we doing with this under rest? Now it's up to 50 already. So what I'm going to do, we'll go raw stop with the big army and we'll go Vismar with the smaller and we're going to just park our armies there and take down now and rest a little bit. Now they'd still take vassalization, but they are also in a war. I forgot to start the timer again. We'll go with the shorter timer. Sorry about that. Alright. I don't want to let these episodes go too long. Um, I'd like to keep them under a half hour if possible. Kind of want to see how this war shakes out. And who wins. I'm just surprised they're going after the capital right away. But we did go after the capital in Mecklenburg and that worked out for us. Ugh, oh, lots of inflation or we lose stability. I'll take the inflation for now. What we might be able to do... Ooh, he's a three. Ugh. How much can we save? I go down to five a month. Mm. We did just tech up though and got those cores, so I'm actually okay lowering that a bit. And we could try and get a different advisor layer. Hopefully, there's one that's not so expensive. You see we're racking up the monarch points too right now. Hanholt. I don't know, they're not done with their war. They just got retreated back there, I guess. Palatinate's starting to like us. Still 304. Now as you see, Bohemia, they have maxed out relations, so that's going to be tough to overcome unless we ally them. We maxed out with Onhalt. 
They're at 158. Who else is voting for Bohemia? Trier is. Cologne is. I actually wouldn't mind if Cologne called me into their war right now. Now we go to war with Anhalt. What we can do. That was kind of dangerous. They are our ally. Well, uh, because they'll we'll have crappier relations because we'll have a claim. I really want to claim the Hansa and take them over before Austria does. Want that trade node or Denmark? That's quite a possibility too. They currently have revolts, so they're not saying too nice. Oh, what the heck, Saxony? Still voting for... Oh, there we go. Now we can improve relations with uh, Cologne as well. I'm actually stop improving with Palatinate for now. I don't know if they'll do... Yeah, they won't do an alliance. Oh, we're going to hit up Saxony for a royal marriage real quick. Oh, this war ended. Cologne got a little, took two territories. Wow. Now, they're also going to probably get warned. Yep, they got unlawful. Oh, no, I have unlawful territory. But looks like they got it too. So they might not like Bohemia too much. Oh, no, it's still there. Goal is definitely to take a vote away from Bohemia. Oh, and Trier's voting for Hesse now. Beautiful. So we can get a third vote. We'll actually take the Empire and become Emperor. Can also offer clone military access. How's our revolt doing here? Still kind of a problem. Now we could give Atami to Vismar. Now I'll knock out the unrest there. We're actually going to do that. Which kind of sucks a little bit, but if you look at that, it's now expanded out to 10.9 years. So it's just raw stock that's an issue now. And they're the ones who got it. That's because that's the territory that got called out as unlawful territory, so that's going to affect that. Come on, clone. Now we can prove 40 more with them, so that might get us close enough. <clears throat> it's going to be tough. We'll do things like give them military access and stuff. Royal marriage would really help, too. We could do something like giving a gift, but that timing could be off. Um, that would last for five years. However, you know, who knows if the emperor will die. Um, now, Bohemia's ruler is getting pretty old, so... <clears throat> definitely like to improve with Cologne uh, quicker than that. And after this next break, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going a little horse here. I need to get something to drink, so. Alright, we got our claim, so now we can start buttering up Cologne a little bit. Go military access. We can also proclaim a guarantee. Now that might get a little crazy if somebody declares war on them. Don't know if I want to go in that position yet. We got this down to 73. A 
We'll let that go for now. Don't want to take another unlawful territory, so I'm going to have to hold off on the Hansa for now. The only thing we can do, even though we have a claim, we can also try and improve with the Hansa. How's Anhal feeling about this? 158. Now, if I max out relations again, they'll be up to 162. I could give them a gift, probably. Definitely racking up some coins here. Let's actually do that. We're going to call back the Hansas. Ooh, they'll actually transfer trade power to us, which will help improve it. It's always weird. Them transferring their trade power to you improves your relations with them. Or they like you more for being able to transfer that. Ooh, they'll do a lot. 50%? I like it. Oh, I don't want to lose the stability. I do have a lot of ducats right now, so we'll take that. So we're up to 168. We still take the vassalization, so we'll offer our military access next. And see, these are things that we all get, that we will get all these things when we vassalize them, anyways. So we can do all this and we won't lose any of it. Next thing we'll do is send them a gift. And that will push us over the top. If this works. Yep. So we'll do the gift. So as soon as September, we'll have him as a vassal. All right. And our timer's going off. All right. Uh, I'm Jabber1008. This is the EU4 uh, Brandenburg to Germany playthrough. We're hopefully going to have Prussia soon. Um, we'll see how that works out. We need the religion to reform, and we're currently working and seeing how we can get our options to become the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, for those watching on Twitch, I'll be back in a few minutes, and for those watching on YouTube, hope to see you around in the next episode. Thanks.